So this is problem 2.2 and it is also on the performance of turbo jet engine. The problem statement goes like this. <coughs> the following data pertaining to a turbo jet flying at an altitude of 9500 meter. The speed of the turbo jet is 800 km per hour. Propulsive efficiency is equal to 55%. Overall efficiency of the turbine plant is equal to 17%. Density of air at 9500 meter altitude is equal to 0 0.17 kg per meter cube. Drag on the plane 6100 Newton. Assuming calorific value of the fuel used as 46,000 kilojoule per kg, estimate 1. Absolute velocity of the jet 2. Volume of air compressed per minute 3. Diameter of the jet 4. Power output of the unit and fifth air fuel ratio. So in this problem also turbojet engine and some of the properties some of the parameters related with its operations are given. So to solve this problem let us first concentrate on schematic. This is typical turbojet engine we have come across many times. Turbojet engine consists of diffuser 0 to 1, compressor 1 to 2, combustion chamber 2 to 3, turbine 3 to 4, and then nozzle 4 to 5. <coughs> Let's say this turbojet engine is moving in an air with velocity capital C suffix A. So this is actually the vehicle velocity. And since we are assuming air as a standstill, so relative velocity of vehicle will be relative velocity of air. So air will have relative velocity of C suffix A. The gases will come out in the form of jet with the absolute velocity C suffix J. And let's say the diameter of the jet is D suffix J. So this is typical turbo jet engine. You can simply draw a sketch diagram as well in order to represent the schematic of this turbojet engine. Now, after drawing the schematic, enlist G1. So, We have been given the velocity of the vehicle CA 800 km per hour, propulsive efficiency 55%, overall efficiency 17%, density 0 0.17, and drag 6100 Newton. And calorific value is 46,000 kilojoule per kg. So, velocity of turbojet engine CA is 800 km per hour. If you convert it into meter per second, you will get it as triple 2.2 meter 
per second. Then the perceived efficiency is given eta prop as 55 per sec 0.55 then overall efficiency is given as 17 per sec then density of air is given as 0 0.17 kg per meter cube then drag force is given sixty one hundred newton okay and calorific value of the fuel is given as forty six thousand kilojoule per these are some of the values given related with the turbo jet engine. Now some of the assumptions we will make here. Air is we see it. That means velocity of air can also be taken as relative velocity of vehicle. Then properties of air and the gas has formed are same. That is density of air is equal to density of gas. <coughs> and air is behaving as an ideal gas. After making some assumptions, let us enlist what is to be found out. So there is a long list of performance parameters to be calculated. So as per list. Okay. What is the list? Absolute velocity Cj volume of air compressed per minute, diameter of jet, power of jet, air accumulation. So let us do the detailed calculations. So let us first find out the absolute velocity of jet, that is Okay. <clears throat> now we have been given eta propulsive efficiency and it is given as fifty five per cent. Propulsive efficiency is nothing but Thrust power upon propulsive power. Propuls thrust power is one plus m dot f over m dot a c j minus c a. This is thrust, thrust into velocity of vehicle is called as thrust power. To the propulsive power is
cj square minus ca square. Changing the kinetic energy is called as thrust power. Uh, sorry, propulsive power divided by two. And is equal to 0 0.5. So this is rest power versus propulsive power is called as propulsive efficiency. Now here we don't know the value of mass flow rate of a ratio of few layer ratio. So we will neglect time being we will neglect m dot f over m dot f. We are neglecting the few layer ratio. So this expression will become, above expression will become cj minus ca into ca divided by cj square minus by and this is equal to 0 0.5 further simplification of this expression will give me take 2 on the numerator side and cj minus c square can be divided can be divided into cj plus CA into CJ minus C from simple algebra. This will become twice CJ minus CA into CA over CJ plus CA into CJ minus CA. This will be equal to 0 0.55. So this will get cancelled out and remaining will be twice into CA over CJ plus CA is equal to 0 0.55. Putting the value of twice CA, CA triple 2.2 meter per second cj is, is unknown so after calculating i will get the value of cj as Five eighty five point eight five meter per second, and this is nothing but absolute velocity of jet. That's number one. So, number two is volume of air compressed per minute. So, we have been given the density of air and if I could calculate the mass flow rate of air, I can easily calculate the volume flow rate of air compressed. Okay, so this, this is the formula we have density m dot a over q dot a. This is in kg per second and volume flow rate in meter cube per second. Okay. So therefore, volume of air compressed q dot a will be 
m dot a over root a in meter cube per second. Let's say this is equation 1. Now in this equation, we have the value of density at 9500 meter altitude, but we don't know the mass flow rate of air. Now, in order to calculate the mass flow rate of air, we have been given one term, drag, drag force, sixty one hundred newton. We also know that thrust T e is also given as C J minus E A into M dot A. Here we are neglecting the mass flow rate of fuel. So drag force on the vehicle is 6100 Newton and thrust required to produce capital T is Cj minus Ca into m dot a Newton. In this expression I am relating the mass to rate of A. So ideally what is expected drag should be equal to thrust. Only then the vehicle will move in the forward direction. So, mathematically, 6100 Newton is equal to Cj minus Ca into M dot A Newton. Putting the value of Cj, 585.85 Ca is triple two point two. Mass flow rate is unknown. So from here the value of mass flow rate I can calculate. So this value comes out sixteen point seven eight kg per second. Now once we know the value of m dot a from equation 1 I can calculate volume of air compressed. Okay. So From equation 1, volume flow rate of air compressed 16.78 divided by density is 0 0.17. This will be in meter cube per second. So it comes out 98.8. 677 meter cube per second and in meter cube per minute it will be multiplied by 60 so it will be 5920.65 meter cube per minute this is the volume flow rate of air compressed per minute So let's say diameter of the jet is dj. Now uh, diameter of jet will come into picture in the nozzle side. So from nozzle mass flow rate of gases are coming. 
ओके तो मास फ्लू रेट ऑफ गैसेस फ्रॉम नोजल इट विल बी रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय एम डॉट जी एंड इट इज गिवन एज रो इन टू एरिया ऑफ जेट इन टू एब्सोल्यूट वेलासिटी ऑफ जेट because this is the nozzle so jet is coming this is the mass flow rate of the gas and this will be the diameter of jet okay mass flow rate of jet is nothing but is a mixture of mass flow rate of air plus mass flow rate of fuel density of air and density of gas i am taking same let's say diameter of the nozzle is a circular cross section so area will become pi by 4 dj square and this will be cj let's say this is equation number 2 now in this equation we don't know the value of mass flow rate of fuel okay so how to find out this now we have we have been given propulsive efficiency using that i could calculate cj now we have been given overall efficiency okay so <clears throat> now let us recall overall efficiency and this is given as 17% the expression for overall efficiency neglecting mass flow rate of ratio of m dot f to m dot a and expression for this will be cj minus ca into ca over into cv this will be equal to 70% this is the expression for overall efficiency of turbojet engine neglecting the mass flow rate of fuel <coughs> so putting the value of cj 585.85 minus ca 222.22 into m dot f over m dot a into Electric value is forty six thousand into ten to power three is equal to seventy percent. So from here, the value of ratio of fuel air is. Point zero one. So ratio of fuel, mass flow rate of fuel to the mass flow rate of air comes out point zero one zero. So from here, 
the m dot f mass flow rate of three will be 0 0.010 into mass flow rate of air is 16.78 kg per second. So m dot f comes out. Zero point one six seven seven kg per second. This is mass flow rate of fuel. Now, therefore, from equation two. Equation 2 is this, putting all the values, <coughs> m dot a is 16.78 plus 0.1677, this is mass flow rate of gas, density of air and gas equal to 0.17. Pi by 4 into bz square into 585.85. So from here, the diameter of jet is 0.465 meter, or bz is equal to 465. This is the required answer. Now, the fourth point is total power output of the plant. So, generally, propulsive power is taken as total power output of the plant. So, propulsive power EP is calculated as Cj square minus Ca square by 2. And into m dot a, so it will give power in back. Here we are neglecting the mass flow rate of fuel. Phi 85.85 square minus triple 2.2 whole square divided by 2 into mass flow rate of air is 16.78. So, the propulsive power will come out two four six five three zero four point nine six watt. Our propulsive power will be two four. 65.304 kilowatt. This is the required answer number 4. Power output of the plant. 2465.304 kilowatt. And last one is air fuel ratio. Air fuel ratio so 
so we have calculated few layer ratio as 0 0.010 So from calculation in step 4, we have m dot f over m dot a 0 0.010. Therefore, a f ratio will be m dot a over m dot f. 1 over 0 0.010. So, air fuel ratio comes out 96.775. This is the required answer. So, this way you can solve the numerator.